Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Morning Meditation. This is Reverend Tashi Campbell. Welcome. I sat in a meeting of church leaders affiliated with one of the denominations in Jamaica just yesterday. The presentation being made explored the issues in the abortion debate. It was an interesting discourse for me for more than one reasons. Well, one, it was interesting because they were actually openly discussing this important and current issue among a wide cross-section of people from the local churches in that denomination. And secondly, I found it interesting because prior to that discussion and even after, the denomination shied away. They, they, They refused or maybe shy away is a better word from taking up a, a, a stance on the matter of abortion. And then finally, I found the discussion interesting because there was no member of the, the body in that meeting who was willing to clearly say what their position on abortion was. No one was willing to clearly and decisively articulate a position on the matter of abortion. Abortion being the deliberate termination or killing of an unborn child. I must hasten to say though that I appreciated the love and compassion and care with which they spoke. And it was very clear that these leaders were open and they extended an invitation to anyone who may feel that they are in a crisis and they're considering terminating a pregnancy. So that for me was really a beautiful thing to have observed and listened to and experienced. But why am I talking about this though in today's episode in, in, in this morning's meditation. The, the, the experience led me to reflect on why we are here. And by we, I'm speaking about the church. What is, what is our role? Should the church even be talking about abortion? The church's role must be one of redemption, then love and compassion. Any issue, social, psychological or spiritual, that has far-reaching implications for human dignity, for human sanity, for human protection or the sanctity of life should get the church's attention. That's what I believe. The church is not the society as the presenter said in that session I sat in. The church is not the society. The church is in the society and therefore the church should be different. The church should seek to influence the society and not the other way around. You know, I am very clear in my mind about my position on abortion. So I'm not about telling you my listeners what your position should be because i believe that's your choice and you are free to make your choice whether personally or in keeping with that of the organization that you're a part of my only admonition though is that your position be supported by clear biblical principles and not be based on 
emotions or feelings that's 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 that would be my 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 admonition that you're supported by clear biblical principles and not based on feelings and also that your position be clear be clear and decisive if you are not clear about your position on abortion maybe you are saying i am not sure i don't support it but i think in certain instances it should be all right and recommended and all of that i am encouraging you today to do your own research do your own reading open up the discussion in your church in your home in your families ask all the hard questions ask all the hard questions because what i want to say to us is that the world is watching us and oftentimes they are expecting us the church to lead the way according to clear biblical principles there's one particular scripture that comes to mind proverbs 29 verse 25 and it says fear of man will prove to be a snare a snare is a trap fear of man will prove to be a snare but whoever trusts in the lord is kept safe now that fear of man what is it talking about well the wise are not cowardly they do not shrink in the face of public opinion or run at the threat of persecution in other words the christian the born again christian the person who chooses to follow christ must be prepared to take a stance on pertinent matters that will affect as i said earlier human dignity human sanity human protection or the sanctity of life and be clear and decisive about it even if it means to face persecution as a result of that but the bible here this verse is saying whoever trusts in the lord is kept safe let us pray Amen. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for giving us the ability to choose. We appreciate you this morning, God, because you have been so good to us. You have given us minds to think and the ability to really grapple with some of these difficult issues. And so, Lord God, we confess that we need you to guide us and to help us in making the right decisions and in taking the stance that you are pleased with as we say in the name of jesus christ that we are your ambassadors we are your mouthpieces we are your hands and your feet in this earth and lord we pray in the name of jesus that you will use us as christians to be the salt and the light in this world that will often try to convince us against the facts that are explicit in your scriptures that are in the that are clear in your principles and even against the scientific data so lord we commit ourselves to you and we thank you lord for this morning's reflection in jesus name we pray can you say amen amen no me can't lose now me can't lose because me choose yes me choose me can't lose no me can't lose now